Hey guys, Dan MacArthur here. Um, just wanted to do a quick video for you today. We just got the announcement back from the Bank of Canada that the interest rates have increased. So this is the fifth round of interest rate increases we've seen this year, uh, all in response to try and curb inflation. So right now, the target rate is at 3.25%, up from the low point in March of 0.5%. So this is sort of a Obviously, unprecedented time uh, in terms of inflation. Inflation peaked just over 8%. And in response to that, the Bank of Canada has uh, raised interest rates, which is having impacts on our mortgage market. So today, I kind of wanted to break down how that kind of work, what affordability looks like now, um, what it costs to say finance half a million dollars, and how that's going to affect folks that signed up for variable rates because um, they may be seeing triggers happen in their mortgage. And I wanted to unpack how that works. So, looking right now, let's let's take an interest rate that, that was pretty common um, back in March of, uh, of say 1.5 percent. If you were financing five hundred thousand dollars at 1.5 percent. Uh, mortgage rate, your overall payment on that amount of money would be just around $2,000 a month. Of that, right around $1,375, you would be pay paying down on your principal, and the interest portion of that would be $625. So that $2,000 would be the total amount. Again, $1,375 is going towards the principal, $625 is going towards the interest rate. If we crank that interest rate up to 5.5%, which is where I think the five-year fix may wash out to um, with these with these announced increases. We're going to see a total payment go up to three thousand dollars. The principal be at seven hundred and seventy-eight dollars, and now the interest payment at two thousand two hundred and ninety-one dollars. So, looking at before where our total payment was $2,000, these folks are likely going to have a trigger who went variable to have their monthly payments increase. So how it works with a variable rate mortgage in most cases is the payment doesn't change when the interest rate changes. The only thing that changes is at the end of the amortization period, which is generally, or sorry, the end of the term, um, they reamortize uh, a larger amount for, for however m many more years the mortgage is going to carry on. So in this scenario, we're likely hitting a trigger because that initial payment that you agree to of around $2,000 isn't even con covering the interest now. Um, so your monthly payment's going to going to have to go up. So yeah, this is the fifth increase we've seen. Inflation looks like it's below 8% now and we are trending down. I'll share a graph here um, that shows uh, inflation versus interest rates. It sounds like the Bank of Canada is pretty committed to getting inflation below 3%. Um, so how long that takes to see and how many more interest rates uh, increases we're gonna have to have is, is yet to be seen. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be the end of our interest rate hikes. Um, so there is, going to be further, uh, sounds like downward pressure on pricing because it's all an affordability scale, just like in this model that we looked at, you know, as you go from 1.5% to say 5.5% in terms of financing, you know, that same $500,000 costs, you know, another $1,000 a month to service, plus you're not building equity uh, as rapidly. So it, it sounds like we're going to see further downward pressure on pricing. Um, in, in the coming months. Um, hopefully things stabilize soon, but I just wanted to give you a little update. My two cents. If you have any comments, questions, please feel free to reach out anytime. Love to talk real estate. Thanks, guys. Chat soon.